All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think you can file this under some breaking news category regarding the Brandon Ayuk and ongoing situation with the San Francisco 49ers. As we've already heard and reported on even today, the 49ers and Brandon Ayuk came back together to have a negotiation and work through this contract. It does appear that Brandon Ayuk isn't pleased with the current uh, offerings that the San Francisco 49ers have presented. This was first reported by Mike Garofolo of the NFL Network yesterday. And so now it does appear that the 49ers are now trending back towards potentially trading Ayuk to the Steelers. And it appears the framework is in place to send Brandon Ayuk to Pitt. So let's take a look at this uh, effectively breaking news from Ian Rappaport. We've already heard like the the whispers of this, but this is the first time it's initially been reported. So as you can see, this is the update on Brandon Ayuk, and this is pretty substantial. The Steelers and 49ers have a deal on a potential trade, and Pitt is in a good place on an Ayuk contract, sources say. If SF gives the final sign-off, it's done. So to recap what he just said, is that the 49ers and Steelers have agreed to trade compensation. This has been the original hangup with this whole trade to Pittsburgh. That's why it hasn't happened. It was reported early on that Brandon Ayuk has effectively agreed to the terms of the contract put out by um, you know, the Pittsburgh Steelers to Ayuk in his camp. So that was the thing that was holding up any trade to the Cleveland Browns or the Pats is he wasn't going to sign their contracts. So it's been already reported that he will sign Pittsburgh's contract. And that's effectively what he is saying right here when it's in a good place with Ayuk's contract, meaning Ayuk's going, will take it. So what it sounds like right now is the, the elusive compensation to get BA dealt has been finally, uh, agreed to, but I've never seen anything reported like this before where they're effectively saying, well, let me just read, let me continue to read the report and then we'll react to it. SF has an offer out to Ayuk on a long-term deal for him to stay. He hasn't accepted. So again, that correlates to the earlier reports that we heard that Brandon Ayuk has uh, seemingly turned down the offer that the 49ers have presented. And so in a, this feels like a corresponding move. This feels like uh, another uh, move on the chessboard um, through the media is effectively, okay, this is where we're at. We have a deal to Ayuk, and now the Steelers situation has been ironed out and figured out this is where we currently stand. And so I, I'm curious to wh whose ball is is in it's whose court is it like who's where I, I don't even know what's happening anymore <laughs> this this situation is so crazy i've never seen anything reported like this um it's very rare that you even hear that deals uh or trades have been agreed to in principle but not finalized this is this is uncharted territory i believe in my opinion with what we're watching and we're watching how this is all playing out. I don't think we've ever seen this before where a report of, Hey, this is done in principle, but Brandon, Ayuk still has the opportunity to accept our contract offer. If he accepts our contract offer, we'll keep him. But if he doesn't accept our contract offer, we're trading him to the Steelers. This is wild guys. This is really a wild situation. I all understand you guys are like, have Brandon, Ayuk fatigue. I've seen the reporters. They have Brandon, Ayuk fatigue. Content creators probably have Brandon Ayuk fatigue. So, but I guess if you can say you do have fatigue, one thing is, is clear. We are very close. We are very close to finding resolution to this situation, meaning these are the two options. Th these are the only two options that are available on the table for both parties. And it appears that the 49ers are essentially saying this is as far as we go in regards to a contract offer, accept it or we trade you. This is just where we are at. That's my read on this particular situation. 
Um, this is just a, a, a wild, wild turn of events. This is unprecedented, um, in my opinion, at least based on what I've seen in my, you know, short time, seven, eight years covering the NFL uh, through the lens of the San Francisco 49ers. This is just absolutely crazy um, how how this report is is out right now. So. Again, that's how I'm perceiving it. I'm perceiving it as that the 49ers are effectively saying, your move, Brandon, accept or we trade. And uh, that's a that feels like a line in the sand. This tweet feels like a legitimate line in the sand um, that the 49ers have drawn. You know, just like Brandon Ayuk said the other the other day when he was talking to me on the Instagram post was saying that there's only two options. The 49ers keep leaking things in the media, but there's really only two options, either trade me or pay me. And this is effectively where we are currently at as we sit here on Tuesday morning, and we wait to see how this whole thing plays out because this feels like we're we're one we're one decision away to finally having a resolution to this entire situation. What a wild way to go down, man. Like, uh, I still, I, I, I wonder what the 49ers would even get in return. We heard it was reported yesterday that the 49ers were looking for Minka Fitzpatrick or Pat Fryermuth or um, even, uh, sorry, I'm still getting reports as, as we are making this video. Or um, the wide receiver Pickens with a second or third round draft pick. Um, so that's going to be interesting. All right. Matt Mayoko just tweeted this. So this is all happening in real time. Matt Mayoko just tweeted, the Steelers would give up compensation to the 49ers in a trade and the contract Brandon Ayuk desires, while the 49ers would only have to come up with the contract to satisfy Ayuk. Okay, we I think we knew that. Um, I thought that was a little bit more pertinent. Um, but yes, that is that is very true. Uh, the the 49ers would have the Steelers would have to trade and sign BA. I think I think we know that. <laughs> but anyways, um, what do you think is going to happen? Like this is now your time to to drop your predictions. What's it going to be? Is it going to be Brandon Ayuk staying with the San Francisco 49ers for the long term? Or will, will he be a Pittsburgh Steeler? Wow. I don't think this situation could get any wilder. But here we are. Uh, but at least uh, at, the, at the bottom line, it feels like we're close. feels like we're close to an answer. We're close to B.A. Gate being over with and having resolution one way or the other wow you guys let me know what you think in the comments below and as always make sure to like and subscribe for more updates